G'day, g'day everyone, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's episode, we're going up against 6th place Richmond, who have won the last 3 games in a row, and in some good form. Um, but now that we have confirmed 1st place, and we can't lose it, I've been having a look. We've got a fair few players that have not played a single game this season, so I'm going to try and give a fair few of them a go. Xavier Halloran did get in the best last week. Uh, or two weeks ago or something, in the two, so he'll definitely come in this week. Um, and we'll just have a look at maybe just like one other. Um, yeah, just have a quick remember the names. Yeah, all right. Um, so yeah, Xavier Halloran will come in. Um, just give some people a rest. Uh, Stone, he's playing his first game, but that's what's um, coming in through injury. Um, Xavier Halloran might come in. Who can we give a rest? I don't know, let's just give, um, actually let's bring him in for Shipley, yeah, let's do that, because Shipley hasn't been great, I mean, actually he was pretty good last game, but I, yeah, I did say that I was probably thinking about, um, bringing someone else in, um, and the other one, could probably use a defender, yeah, coming, can come in for, Lloyd, yep. Alright. Alright, so that's what we're going with this game. Um yeah, a couple of couple of new players in. And yeah, let's just hop right in. Going up against Richmond Giant Stadium. Um I just had a quick look at the Coleman. And as you'll see down in the bottom left of your screen, we have Daniels leading oh sorry, oh shit, I've stuffed that up. Brun leading on thirty six. Daniels second on 34, but Jamie Cripps is also equal second on 34. So makes it interesting. Jamie Cripps is just hanging around in there. Oh, all right. Well, hopefully Bron and Daniels can get, kick a couple this game and get away from him. White tackle, awesome. Kelly goes long, Finn Lacey, who's been in some brilliant form recently. Good tackle, Hopper. Good tackle, Hogan. Torrento. Oh, go Torrento. Torrento mops it up. Torrento's got first of the game. Come on, Giants. Nice, very handy goal there. Oh, it just goes nice and short to Perryman. Who can just chip it towards the wing. Oh, no. Inset mark by Lynch. He's going for goal. Get on the line, Green. Mark that key. Oh, it's, oh he's marked it. Wait, what? He's, he's in the, what? We even got... Wow. Wow, interesting. Very, very interesting, that. Daniel Rioli lines up, and he's kicked the snow. Scores a level now, just over halfway in the first quarter. Mumford. Oh, no. Out the back, Halloran. Oh, Halloran misses the tackle, and McIntosh kicks the snag. Richmond lead by goal. Good tackle. Go O'Halloran. O'Halloran looks in the pocket and spots Hopper beautifully. Great pass there from O'Halloran. Oh, I think that might just be in the green. And it is. So Hopper slots it, scores a level. Taranto sees Finn Lason making a lead. But on the deck, good tackle from Himmelberg. Daniels has been tackled high, so Daniels will line up for his first of the game. And he's slotted it. We now lead by a goal, and Daniels reduces Brun's lead in the Coleman to just one goal. Ooh. Good tackle. Bruce wins the rock. Oh no, out in the middle go Richmond. 
Oh, I didn't just, I just accidentally ran into the ball, ran into the ball. Shot bottom line up, lines up to level the scores late in the first quarter. And he slots away, and does it have a distance? Just, just has the distance. So scores a level late in the first quarter. Just run down the clock, hear the whistle. All right, kind of stone when they line up after this quarter time, sorry to give us the lead. It's in the green, but does he have the distance? No. Damn it. Actually, that, that, that technically should be a point, but they won't give it yet. Damn, I was really hoping kind of stone to go back and slot that. That would have been nice. Daniels hands it over to Finn Lason. And it's a goal for Finn Lason, who has been in some great form here to finish off this season. I mean, he's in great form to start off, like when he first came in. And now he's just free found that form. Haynes running off the half back, goes along. Himmelberg takes us. Becky, absolute hanger from Himmelberg. What a mark. Absolutely beautiful from Himmelberg. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. Himmelberg will line up for, I believe, his first of the game. It's in the green, and it's straight through the middle. This is brilliant from us. Come out brilliantly at just after the second quarter. Mumford to Hopper to Kelly from outside 50. Goes long. Finlayson's under it, but it's spoiled. Finlayson mops it up, gets tackled. Hogan mops it up. Gives the hands off to Finn Lason, gets tackled though, and ball spills, but Daniel goes off the deck. I honestly thought the ball went into the post, but no, Daniels goes off the deck to level the Coleman race and give us a 19 point lead. Just goes nice and short to Perryman. He hands it off to Kennedy. He just goes long. Stone with the spoil. Mopped up by Braun, who handballed it really to no one in the end. Get him, Perryman. He doesn't, and it's a goal for Rewalt. Yeah, lead down to just two goals. Mumford punches the ball forward. Out yeah, the middle go um, Richmond. Good spoil from Kennedy. Oh, no, here they go again. With a good bounce, that'll go in. And he does get a good bounce. Yeah, lead down to just a goal now after the middle two out bumps. And then gets an absolute hanger taken on him. Bang. Pick it up and kick it, Mumford. Ah, oh, it's a point. All right, 10 point lead at half time. After scores were level at quarter time, we've now got a 10 point lead at the half. Pretty close game here actually, I mean I feel like we've been much better than him and we've had a lot more scoring shots as you can see but we haven't really been able to put them out of it. Mumford punches it backward. Go hard and mark that. Good stuff. Looks towards the wing. Get there Perryman. Run Perryman. Perryman gets it, goes to get the handball but it's smothered instantly. Oh no. Oh, it wasn't a great kick from Martin. Oh, but it's a great spoil from Rioli. Good tackle from Haynes. Good tackle from Kennedy. Off the deck for Lynch, though. Kicks the snag. Our lead reduced to just four points. Mumford punches the ball forward. Himmelberg rows it. Snaps it over his shoulder. And he kicks the snag. Our lead back out to ten points. I don't even know who number seven is. Oh, sorry, it's Himmelberg, not Finlayson. Spoil that Bruce, and he does. It's down. Finlayson gives the hands off to Daniels, and Daniels gets his third snag of the game, and he takes the lead in the Coleman. This has been an eventful, eventful first two and a half quarters for the Coleman. Spoiled by Stone, picked up by Hogan, 
who can just run and run and run, and he just uh, straightens up and kicks the easy snag. We've kicked the last three in a row, I think, now. Yep, three in a row, which we've had a point in that um, span. They find Shy Bolton, who lines up for, I think, his second of the game. Introduce our lead to 16 points. We sprayed it, but it might fall short. Oh, I missed the tackle, and that allows Rioli to just snap it around the corner. No one deep, so Hopper just belts it long with a good bounce. This will go in, but he's got a belt. That was such an unlucky bounce. Oh, my God. Spoiler, Hogan. Good stuff. It's a good tackle from Daniels, and it's a good tackle from Toby Green. He manages to get the free kick, but Tom Green will take it. And Tom Green lines up for his first of the game. I think that's in the green. He's kicked it. Tom Green, you beauty. 23-point lead now for us. Down. Hobber taps on the ground. Hobber picks it up. Gets the handball to space. And Toby Green mops that up. And he has a lot of space to run. And that he will. He'll line up. Gets tackled, but he'll still slot it. 29 point lead now for us. And, oh, he's dropped it. Alright, 29 point lead at three quarter time. Massive, massive there. Five goals, two for us today. Two goals, one that quarter. We run all over them there. And let's hope it's much like that again in this last. Oh, Tom Green misses the tackle. Touched on the ground by Kennedy. Touched on the ground by Perryman. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, he's kicked snag. Picked up by Jesse Hogan. He's got the whole 50 to run into. I don't know where anyone is actually. And it's a goal for Jesse Hogan to extend our lead back out to 29 points. Because they're fighting for a home. Oh, I think they might be. No, actually, no, they're not fighting for a top four spot, but. They are definitely fighting for a home elimination final. So they really want to win this game as Mabia Chol lines up to reduce our lead to 23 points and he kicks it. Isaac coming, spoils it straight to Nankervis. And he slots it, our lead down to just 17 points now. Oh no, Daniel Rioli is, he looks, it looks like he's lining up. And this will be to reduce our lead to just 11 points now. And is that going to fall short? No, he's kicked it. Our lead is down to just 11 points. Daniel Rioli's kicked three goals. Boom. Get there, Kennedy. Oh, no. Daniel Rioli takes a mark. It's not for his fourth of the game and to reduce our lead to just five points. This will be a crucial goal for Richmond. And he's kicked it. Daniel Rioli has kicked four goals now to O'Halloran. He get, oh, went to give the hands off to Taranto, but didn't make it over the top of the Richmond player. And that is a stupid mistake from me. Bloody hell. That normally always works. I normally get that spare kick out on the wing, and I get the nice little hand over the top, and we run, we run, we run. And actually, a lot of the time, it ends in goal. Ah, but Caddy gives him the lead. Did a silly mistake by me inside our 50. Not long left now in this game. Great tackle from 31. Up in Layson. Proust in the ruck. Punches it down. It's Robo in Layson. Gets tackled. When Hopper tackles Edwards, another ball up inside our 50. Proust down. It's Robo by Hopper. He's been tackled. And then Braden Proust. Braden Proust kicks what could potentially be the winner. Still two minutes to go, though, but you never know. That's his first disposal of the game. He's had six tackles, heaps of hit outs. But that's his first touch of the game, and it's a very crucial goal. Now he wins the ruck tap, he punches it forward. O'Halloran was a very handy tackle. A nice spoil there. Get it in, Kelly. Oh no. Here come Richmond on the counter attack. Good tackle from Haynes. Get it long. That's game. It's gotta be game. Hopper tackled. Finn Layson will line up from outside 50, and he'll get it. He'll kick the snag right before the siren. That's his second of the game. And we take a 10-goal lead with just five seconds to go. 
We win the game. What a game in the end. Oh my lord, that last quarter. It's just another display of us having a shocker of the last quarter. But oh my lord. Two late goals get us over the line. Let's have a look at this. Mumford got best on. O'Halloran actually played quite well. Um, yeah, brought him up. He was one of the players we brought up because of the like got the best in the VFL the other week. Look at that, five touches. Um, anyone not get a touch? Yes, lock and keep. What about fantasy? Mumford seventy, Finn Lason fifty nine, Hopper fifty six, Chris fifty four, Angle thirty six. Tackles, Hopper, hook. Oh, a very very nice win there. Let's have a look. I think we got a fair few players back this week. Yep, Taylor, Cornelio, Whitfield, all back. That is awesome. Hallam played very well on debut. Um, oh, I actually don't think I'm going to play any of them. I might just you know, give them an extra week off. Rest them before the um, finals. Oh. Alright, we're just going to have a quick look at the Coleman now. I believe Daniels is lead, um, has taken the lead by one. And he has. And I believe... Look at Finn Layson has made an amazing um, jump at it these last like four weeks, and um, yeah, honestly, he has been great the last few weeks. Look at that, one point eight three three goals per game he's averaging. I mean, honestly, he's still a cheeky chance. He's only down by what four, and Daniels and Braun have both had games this year where they have not kicked, and they've had both had a few games this year where they have not kicked goals. And Phil Lason's, I think he's had two five-goal games and, like, a four-goal game. And he's been in some great form. So, anyone to sneak a chance here. Although, I think Jamie Cripps and, like, West Coast have already played 22 games yet. So, Jamie Cripps cannot win it. But look at the eight. I mean, literally very close. Like, I mean, Bulldogs can still fall out of the top four. Richmond can still jump in. Like, it's, it's awesome. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.